Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. As many of you know, Microsoft Office comes with a complete suite of around 10 to 12 different components like Word, Excel, PowerPoint and more. While these tools are useful, most PC users doesn't actually need all of them and they, they can take lots of hard drive space also. I recently received a request from one of my subscribers asking if it is possible to install just a few essential apps like Word, Excel and PowerPoint instead of a whole package. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a custom install of Microsoft Office where you can choose exactly which app you want to just like a Word, Excel and PowerPoint. So let's dive right into and walk through how to install MS Office with only the component you need. So let's get started. Uh, this for offline installation of any Office package, including Office 2024, the procedure is same. So let's go and click on the setup and it will ask you for, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes, go ahead and do that because I just wanted to install the Office. So this is the Office 2016 Professional Plus. Okay, so now you have a two option here. You have a install now and customize now. So when you go with install, it will go with the default installation. It will install everything what is inside the package. But however, when you go with the customize, so you can see here you have an option where you can customize your application. So you can see this uh, white lines. That means this is going to install everything on this system, right? So let's say I don't want access because I'm not going to do any database kind of thing. I would like to go with Microsoft Excel. Okay, so I'll just click a run all from my computer. So, you know, when you this run this will run all from my computer. So what it does it, this will make a copy of some file on your local system. So whenever later on, when you remove or add any components that is going to help you. So one drive for business, I'm not going to use this for so not available. One note, yeah, though it's important, but however, I'll go with Windows snipping. So just click go with not, not available. And then Outlook, yes, I want the Outlook because Outlook is a major component. Then PowerPoint, yes, I would, I would like to go with the PowerPoint. How about publishers? No, I don't want to go with the publishers. Visio, no, I'm not going in. I'm not going for any drawing and all. Microsoft, yes, this is important. And tools, don't change anything on a tool. Let's run it for all my computers. And shared features, let's say on the shared features, you know, what is other than shared features? Uh, convert file, international support, Microsoft Office themes, visual basic for application. So let's not touch that uh, Microsoft shared features. Let's keep it as it is. You can just click on the run from all from my computer, Office tool. Let's keep it for run from Skype for business. I have really don't need this Skype for business. So you can see how many we have choose a custom installation. We have we are allowing the only the Excel and then uh, Outlook along with the Word, right? So these are the four application which we are allowing it. So if you want to go with only one one application, you can go ahead and and you can do that. So where is our PowerPoint here? Here is the PowerPoint. Yeah. So if, if it depends on like how many how many components you want. If you want to go with only one or two, you can go with that. So as of now, we are going with the four component. Now it's on the file location where you want to go with this installation. So is there said this is this required almost 1.9 GB? This will required and total space required on a space is 2.7 GB, 2.76 GB, and the space available on on drive is 202 GB. So let's say this is going to install. On C drive, if you want to change the drive D drive, E drive, F drive, pen drive, whatever drive you want to go you want to change, you can go ahead and change it from there. User information so here is it's about channel my name, channel name here. And um, if you want to change it, you can change it. So, any by default, when you, you open the application, it will show you the your name, your name on that um, any of this word, Excel, point. PowerPoint this information it will show you can add the organization information also so when you create the document that will be show you the author as this name full name initial and your organization right so we have covered this thing so now click on the install so when you click on the install and now the installation also will be very quick so when it has to install all the component it will go it will take almost uh, when i testing when i was testing it almost took 15 minutes of my time to install all the components however let's see how much time it's going to take to install the four components right word excel powerpoint and outlook so let's wait so you can see this is the i think it's a 12 13 let's see how much time it's going to take so once it's done we'll come back to you okay so as you can see our installation is completed it almost took eight to nine minutes to complete this installation so you can see this uh, thank you for choosing this microsoft official professional plus let's close this one and uh, when we go back to and then definitely you need to buy you need to have the license so i have the license for this one which i will activate later so if you're buying this uh, 
license for it you can go ahead and activate it you have to buy the license from the microsoft site or any site which send which sell the genuine uh, license key so let me show you this word and excel so let me search in the search let's type the word you can see this word 2016 and uh, here we go so this is this is saying you this microsoft um, of word is here when you go and save the file so let's say save this file into the save the file save as document and when you save the file it will show you so you can see this author as i told you right while installation uh, it will show you the owner name so you can see this is the owner name and it will show you this other detail also what given during the installation right so this is about the word and if you want to activate it go to uh, 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 sorry go to files accounts and here you want to give this change the product key so you have to give the product key here and once you do that you have to go to continue and then it will activate it so this is about the activating the office so this will be applicable for all your office 20 2019 office 2021 office 2024 all the offline installer right and once you key in this information it will install all this application so let's close this one and let's see how this excel goes excel and here is our excel right a similar way you can go to any of this application word or excel go to the account and activate the license now one question come to your mind oh mine here is let's say i have installed word excel and powerpoint right how about later on if you want to install the access right there could be a requirement that you additional Microsoft Office application to be installed here. But as of now, we have already installed the four components. So what you can do is uh, you have to go to the installer, go back to installer, click on the setup again. Let's run it. Let me show you here. He said you can say add and remove the features. You have to go with the first option. Click on the continue. And here we go. You can select the option or you can you can select or deselect both things. So let's say I don't want this. Um, for example outlook so i can go and say not available so when you go and click on installer installer when you run the installer it will uninstall this outlook from my system right so let's keep it as it is so in this time we are we'll go with this uh, let's say one note so click on here it said uh, one note so as of now let me show you there is no one note here on my computer you can see no one note is there so let's quickly install this one note and click on the continue this is going to be quick i don't think it's going to take time here as you can see here, this is going very fast okay as you can see here this is completed and this is the quick one so let's close this one and it's asking the reboot no don't reboot it now let's say type the one note you can see this one note has installed on my computer right so this is how you can do the custom install you can add and and add remove the packages from your office but you should have the offline package of your office on your system right oh well, that's it for today's video if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box if you want me to create a video on your request please do let me know in the comment box and i'll try to create a video on your request so thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one